All right, how many of you guys are familiar with this guy right here? This is, you guessed it, the cotton mouth. This is often called the water moccasin or a swamp viper. It is a viper, it has pits on its mouth. It's able to seek heat and detect predators and prey items with those heat sensing glands. Now, unfortunately for us, this guy was struck by a vehicle and he died on the roadside. I pulled him off the roadside and uh, I decided that for the sake of sharing the knowledge and preserving the snake's skin and using it as an educational tool for other people that I would go ahead and show y'all how to preserve and uh, properly skin and prepare a snake skin so it can be put on display. You guys, the first step that we have to do is go ahead and remove the snake's head. You don't want to use your bare hands. You do want a sharp knife. We'll pin his head down, nice and solid, and we just have to cut it off. Go ahead and remove that away from here so that way there's no venomous fangs or anything in this area. So this guy's head is now removed and we're going to put that in amp pile so if there's anything good left like bone structure or anything we can actually preserve his bone structure. The next step to skinning a snake is to flip him over where his underside is exposed and basically what you want to do is cut down the middle along his entire belly. It's been dead for a long now, what you want to do once you have it sliced completely down all the way, you want to go ahead and pull the skin from the bone structure. And this should be relatively easy. Now, you have to be careful on the bottom scales down there on the belly side. They have a tendency to want to rip. So, just nice and easy with it and just pull the meat away from the skin. And this shouldn't be too hard. In fact, the harder part will be after this part. Those guts, you want to get those in the garbage as soon as possible because I tell you what, they can stink really bad, make you want to throw up. So now we have our snake skin peeled off of our snake body. We have to prep the skin. Basically, we got to get all this fat and stuff off. And I'll kind of give you a rough idea of what that's going to be like. Um, there tends to be a lot of it right here by the belly scales. <clears throat> all right so basically all this stuff right here has to go we have to get all this fat off of here and get it down to an actual skin so this can take a while if you're skinning a deer or something something like this could take all day or even a couple days but with a snake you know you may have to invest about an hour or so yeah be careful right there you can see where his hide was damaged Now this is all the fat that we've pulled off of the uh, hide. It's real crucial that you get all the fat you can off. The next step that will help get all the fat off is to take it to the hose spigot over there. And as you wash it, just kind of rub it. And you can feel, it just feels kind of like jelly almost on top of the hide. And uh, when you feel that jelly feeling, you know that you're probably looking at some fat and you want to just try to pull that off. You can pull a lot of the fat off with your fingers. You pretty much got this one clean. And the hose really does help a lot. So definitely use that uh, tip. And uh, that was actually where he was run over right there. And you can kind of tell because the blood stain right there where the injury was. Next we're going to show you how to prepare your salt bath. The last and final perhaps most important step is the preservation process which is actually done by either salt or most people recommend using glycerin glycerin is a preserving agent it's found in many types of foods and stuff now what you do is you make a mixture of 50% alcohol 50% glycerin soak the snake in there for three to five days stirring or mixing every day after that you can just pull the snake skin out of the glycerin and go ahead and mount it and we'll show a different video on how to mount one of these skins. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you press that like button if you liked it. And subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you in the great outdoors. Thanks again. I'm your host, Alexander Dubasevich.